follow me on this. Netflix has released a movie based on a Chinese rage comic animated in Canada by the crew behind the movie Nine. This Netflix film, Next Gen, has a plot that I can only describe as the Iron Giant for school shooters. I'll elaborate on that later, but first I must introduce Bao Zhao. I can't find much info on them in English, but to my understanding, they're a Chinese comedy website that started out making rage comics, then expanded into original comics, videos, apps, everything. They're real popular over there, forming a media empire. I'm guessing they're the Chinese version of The Onion or Rooster Teeth. They're not necessarily political, but their rage comics did get banned in China after mocking a communist martyr, but that's another story. In 2018, they took one of their meme comics entitled 7723, which I can't find anywhere, and turned that into a full-on CG movie for Netflix. That's where we get Next Gen. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember when people called Sonic 06 Sonic Next Gen. With Next Gen's meme-filled origins, there's thankfully no memes here, except for this one talk show host minor character that resembles a lol face, which is also the mascot for Bao Zhao, but that's it. Without prior knowledge, you'd assume this was the typical Big Hero 6, Iron Giant, E.T. story, but I counter that and say Next Gen is what Big Hero 6 should have been. Them's fighting words. <laughs> Many of the YouTube comments in Next Gen's trailer brush it off as a Big Hero 6 ripoff. Bitch, please. Big Hero was not at all original to begin with. It's good, but not my favorite of the 2010 Disney films. It has some great sad and vengeful moments, though it's brought down by the standard superhero origin story, Iron Giant plot points, and cliche modern Disney bad guy reveals. Plus, the other heroes of the group weren't really needed. I haven't seen the TV series that came after, but I feel this overflow of characters would benefit as a show. In contrast, Next Gen is a far more focused and subversive movie. Here we're shown a future where everything is automated, and I mean everything. Wow! Thank you for opening me! Oh, look out! Here I go closing! Whee! People are obsessed with their robot assistants to the point that they're part of the family, even though the movie implies they have no free thought and are merely tools. It's a bit like Wall-E or one of those iPhones are evil messages, and of course there'd be the obligatory Steve Jobs type spokesperson. Except he looks like Ringo Starr with a man bun. This is the future, so I'm assuming the man bun will be seen as retro by then. Today's bullshit, tomorrow's nostalgia. Oh my god, mate, do something about your hair. I like it this way. Huh? Oh, seriously, does everything have to be a robot with you? The hero of this story is Mai, a rebellious teen girl who's faced bullying and the loss of her father. She's also a technophobe who hates robots and how people obsess over them. That is until she befriends a broken machine, 7723, who just so happens to have weapons equipped and will do anything to protect her. This is where the typical Iron Giant story spins off into a sort of revenge fantasy film. <laughs> A unique twist that has me asking, where is this heading? I'm concerned. This girl does not see robots as alive, yet this bot is at her command and genuinely cares for her enough to blindly kill other robots. This movie don't pull no punches with its violence or humor. I'm freaking serious. Put this quote on the poster. Iron Giant for school shooters. Imagine how Iron Giant would be like if Hogarth told the giant, Nah, man, you are a gun. Light him up. <laughs> It's a cynical film, but still has a lot of emotion. I'm genuinely surprised. Near the end, the climax kind of runs a little long because by then I was like, end the movie already. They've suffered enough. I'm in tears. Now, I'm expecting to hear my least favorite form of criticism, which is the main character is not likable. Look, man, no one wants Cusco to tear down a village or the Grinch to steal Christmas. You watch these stories to see how it progresses. Main characters don't have to be likable. Their actions just have to make sense to their motives. Also, Punk girls. Yeah. Not in a creepy way, I just like characters that are assholes and have colorful punk designs. Hey, good afternoon, May. I bet you had a great day. Would you like- Die in a fire. Okie dokie, good talk. 
If you still hate Ma, you can still empathize with the robot. He's trying, okay? I've yet to mention it, but the major conflict in this movie is this damaged robot can only store so much memory. Often he'll have to choose what memories to delete, some of which will be memories with this girl. Just characters dealing with memory loss hurts me, you know? I praise this movie, but I will admit to its faults. A minor one would be this one sequence that starts in slow motion, goes in reverse, and then plays at normal speed. It's to clearly show this robot smashing into this other robot. Quite the confusing editing choice. As for legit issues, there's other characters that maybe need more screen time, but they serve their purpose. Also, the villain, evil businessman. Of course. But when you got a real flat antagonist, I'm glad they at least progressively made him more terrifying. I expected as much edge when this movie shares many of the artists behind the movie 9. One of the rare PG-13 animated movies that got a wide release in America. Next Gen isn't as dark as 9, but it pushes it. There's a villain scene I won't spoil that comes out of nowhere which left me flabbergasted asking, did that just happen? <laughs> Coincidentally, as I wrote this script, one of my fans reminded me that 9 released on 9-9-2009. Nine years later on that anniversary is 2018. Next Gen released on Netflix two days before on 9-7-2018. And they're both films that deal with machinery trained against humans. I didn't know this when I was reviewing 9 during a countdown video years ago, but it turns out there's a surprisingly large fandom for the movie 9, fans who will obsessively analyze how this world came to be. Surprisingly for a film like this, there isn't a whole lot to theorize on, but there is a wicked backstory that the film doesn't touch upon that incorporates real life references, historical accuracies, and an actual Facebook page where a protagonist publishes plot points. Oh yeah, they went all out with this one. I'm placing my bets fans are gonna add next gen to their 9 theory somehow. It's like the Pixar theory for movies soccer moms don't care about. What's odd is there's an official Facebook that posted updates on experiments performed by a fictional scientist within the movie. That Facebook was left abandoned since 2009, yet randomly posted new updates in 2016 and 17. What's that about? Coincidence? Very likely. It's also worth mentioning Next Gen was animated in Blender, a free-to-download CG art program. The futuristic city looks great, but I don't think it stands out compared to other movies with a similar setting. Although these bots got some slick mechanics and action choreographer furry, it's heavy on that anime influence. <laughs> is made partially with a free art program. It's the tool, not the artist. And maybe the budget. I can't find the exact budget, but any interviews I read hint to it being a fraction of the typical Pixar feature. But Netflix did buy this already completed film for 30 million, so its budget could be around that estimate. If so, that's amazing. Pixar's films usually cost 100, 200 million. I kinda wish this got a theatrical release to help with its massive scope, but maybe it's for the best Netflix scooped it up. According to Gravity Falls creator Alex Hirsch, Netflix has no standards and practice department, meaning they can basically post anything up without worrying about age ratings. Had this gone to theaters, I'd imagine they cut out or change things to make it a safe PG rating. That or they put something overly trendy in the soundtrack like Fallout Boy. But to be real, as unconventional of a movie I hyped this up to be, it's still guilty of certain cliches and at times is way too on the nose about it. It teeters between new and old conventions, though I still say it has enough to be its own thing. Next Gen is a movie that came out of nowhere, is based on a fucking meme comic, yet I'm willing to say this is one of my favorite animated movies this year. It's cynical, optimistic, emotional, and gives me all sorts of feelings. And yes, it's better than Big Hero 6. Fact. Garth Hughes was just another boy. One stormy night changed his life forever. Now, the love of a boy and his giant robot must save us all. Go to Code Red! Repeat! Code Red! Order, sir! Don't shoot! Don't Order shoot! Order submissive now! The Iron Giant, next Friday at 4. <laughs>